Welcome back to Romania. This week we visit the Danube Delta. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day 100 of this trip. Cannot believe we're on 100 days already and we're only just over a third of the way through. Yeah, uh, mad isn't it? Absolutely mad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just over three months and we're going to be on the road for uh, probably about nine months. We don't know though. I mean, we'll just go back when, when we're ready and when we're done. Oh, obviously, we've got to stick within Schengen regulations. But we've currently been in Romania for... I don't actually know. I was going to look it up. Must be on about week seven. No, yeah, we're on about week five. No. Is that all? Yeah. That feels much longer. Yeah, we've been here a month. And a, and a few days. Okay, it feels a lot longer than that. It does feel a lot longer. That we've we've just crammed in so so much. Um, the the trans is it transfer gasson. Is that how you say it? Transfer. I, yeah. Okay. You put it in there for the me. Garrison. because Yeah, it's Trans it's a difficult word to say. Um, which is the pass where we saw the bears. I mean, that was just out of this world yeah that's and, amazing and then other experiences <laughs> rescuing the puppies and, and hearing um wild wolves on the hills and the roads we have to mention the, the romanian roads yeah they are they are something quite special they are bad some are okay but some have got like potholes the size of dustbin lids and they just creep yeah. up on you and you think gosh you fall down one of them and uh, that, that's it, that's your wheel gone. And then other roads, they're fine, and then they just stop and turn into this, like, gravel track, don't they? Like, rocky track. And it's like, yeah. okay, what happened there? And you'll go along a few kilometres, or a kilometre or two, and then it just turns back into a normal road again. And you're like, nothing's changed, <laughs> it's still that road. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't get it. Oh, I, if you think British roads are bad, oh, um, these are yeah, I mean, these you, are even more special. You get the railway lines. <laughs> there are lots and lots of railway lines, there lots of loads. disused railway lines that cross the roads as well. And and there's no effort to do anything with them. They're all broken and rocky and lumpy and, and it's just like the equivalent of... Um, and that's the working ones. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's the just, one that trains actually go on. <laughs> it's just the equivalent of like speed humps, I think. In the UK, they break down and Bizarre, they just like yeah. think, oh, we'll just leave them there. It slows people down. Um, so, yeah, that's all... Uh, yeah, it, it, it's such a fantastic place. I mean, we've driven past loads of absolutely beautiful gypsy carts um, and it's just quite mind blowing and then you get the, the the horse and carts that are are carrying sort of I don't know the metal and the bric a brac or or the hay or just transporting whatever yeah. they need to transport. Um and seeing families working in the fields together. You know, you've got sort of, you know, mum and dad working and then the kids like stamping down the hay on the backs of the the backs of the the, the track the trucks and that it's just yeah there's a lot of traditional um, yeah. style farming yeah. that goes on that's one um, of my favorite things to see i think is is the the old-fashioned way of working the fields yeah, they without build all those, the machinery build those haystacks yeah they, and they do it all by hand yeah it's um, amazing it, it is it must be absolutely backbreaking yeah uh it's must it's be. amazing and romania has such a diverse landscape yeah, you you've got the 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 um, alpine. Uh, what was the uh, high track? You went trans transalpina. Transalpina with yeah. all the the alpines and the windy roads. It was just beautiful. But then that meets mountains, and then and it meets valleys, and and then you go into sort of flatter areas, and you've got loads of farming land, and when the um, sunflowers were out it was just absolutely beautiful and now we've got the real golden hues of the corn it, honestly trans uh, romania just has so much to give mm. and the um it's lovely, isn't it? the area of transylvania with, with all the castles and it was 
so beautiful so so beautiful and uh, one thing I absolutely love is the roadside trading when we come up to a roadside trader I always have to look for like, what they're selling what they're selling Martin's like it's just melons again it's more melons it's more melons <laughs> you can buy uh, loads of stuff on oh, the roadside you absolutely know. You kind of expect the fruit and veg and stuff um, you get lots of that yeah but you also get um, you know, bread sellers, dried yeah. bread, yeah, um, honey. Oh, loads of honey, loads um, of honey. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. Um, woven goods. Woven goods. What else? Baskets and that Cheese, sort of thing. Cheese, sausages. Yeah. yeah. Cooked bread products. Yeah. You name it. Yeah. Um, sea. Sea Buckthorn. <laughs> we tried Sea Buckthorn yesterday. It was so gross. It mm, was so gross. <laughs> it, Apparently it's you really... Must, you <laughs> must try it. It's, it looks like orange juice. Yeah. Um, well, well, tastes, I thought, I thought, tastes a little bit like orange juice. I thought it was orange juice and I bought it and I thought I was buying cold carrot soup. <laughs> it was just weird looking. Weird looking. Yeah, so if you ever, if you ever get offered um ka katina katina yeah <laughs> don't if you look it up it's yeah. not horses it's uh, <laughs> it's, <C> no. <laughs> um, and it's uh, uh yeah it's special yeah. it's really really special yeah. another thing it. that we noticed when we were um at the lake with our friends uh, we met our friends um jeff and Haley, and we were included in their celebration their baptism celebration the hospitality of the romanians they were yeah, just like eat amazing. eat eat and seriously i mean i know i mentioned it before you have never seen so much cake in your life there were 25 30 people there <laughs> and there were probably 25 30 laden plates of cake fingers in every variety you could think of they really when they come together to celebrate they really come together and bring food 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 and more food and they encourage you to eat and join in as much as possible. Yeah, they love to feed you, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely lovely, uh, lovely culture. So, so giving, so hospitable. Um, it's fantastic. And yeah, I'm so, are. so glad that we had that experience to really get to meet true Romanians in, in a, a natural environment, a celebration environment. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're very trusting as well. Even like at the campsite, you know. Yeah. They just, I'll oh, find a pitch. Yeah. And then they, they don't. Well, how many days did you stay? <laughs> when you go to pay, yeah. It's like, how yeah. many days have you stayed? Yeah. Did you use electric? <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all very much on, just on honesty. Totally on trust, yeah. Yeah, which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. So now we are headed down to. The Delta Danube, which is um, it's it's river flats, isn't it? Apparently, there's like lots of little. When the river goes out to sea. Lots of little villages you can visit that are only accessible by boat, um, and it's mm. a UNESCO site um, with over three hundred identified species of bird. Um, and lots of other wildlife, so yeah, quite looking forward to that, mainly because it's boats, and I absolutely love being on boats, um, <laughs> but also we can see some fab wildlife, and uh, take on a different aspect of yeah, the Yeah, you trip. might have to get up early to go on the boat. Oh, I don't mind, I could sleep all afternoon. Five. Yeah, I, could, I would do that, I would happily do that. Good. No, it's probably the no best problem. time to go is early. Yeah. So. No problem. Um, yeah, and uh, temperatures... Is it more reasonable? I don't know. It goes up and down. We were, we had planned for high twenties, mid to high twenties. The average here, uh, in in August was around about twenty six, twenty seven, which is kind of normal for um, a Romanian summer. Um, but it has been up to thirty seven on quite a few days. Yeah, quite a few. The first days. couple of weeks we were here, it was quite grey and overcast, still hot. But, yeah. Um, lots of rain and storms. Um, yeah. Yeah. Lots of thunderstorms. We have but had then it suddenly lot of went dry and yeah. hot again, and we were like, oh, yeah. it is hot and dry here yeah. most of the time. Yeah, the temperatures have been um, a bit challenging. 
we're okay we're coping we have been a bit worried about bailey a few times uh she's getting quite used to a a shower down now and i think she <laughs> yes. realizes that it makes her feel better so yeah she's yeah. like oh yeah let's time yeah. for a shower <laughs> <laughs> yeah closer. so uh, yeah she's she's doing all right so yeah well we've waffled for 10 minutes yeah, 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 you'll be cutting a lot of that out. No, I know. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, um, yeah, that's our 100 days of mostly conversation about Romania. So we're off to the Delta Danube now, and then we're going to head across to um, Bulgaria very soon. And, yeah, uh, yeah more exciting times to come. Uh, be nice to get to the coast. I have missed being at the coast. Yeah, it will be. I'm looking forward to going yeah. after the after we do the delta. Um, we'll then go down to Constanza. Yeah. Um, and a few places along the coast there. Yeah. There's supposed to be some um, nice sort of quiet beaches before you get there. Lovely. Um, so that'll be nice. Hopefully yeah. we we'll just we can just park up somewhere. Um, near the sea um, without any issue now we're in September I think it'll be a little bit quieter I think it will be I think it will be and we didn't really get the coast at Croatia because it was it was a bit strange it was just like concrete and then down swimming pool steps lots of snow oh, wow. it's quite rocky isn't it mm. um, the sea at Croatia is yeah it was more like getting sort of getting into a pool or getting into a lake not that we got in um, but yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to a proper beach Arriving at our park up and there's a very faint remain of a rainbow and a boat. That's the Danube. This is a bumpy track. This is not a good road. Did you feel me off? <laughs> this is quite a busy stretch of the Danube. We've got a, a big cargo ship there coming in. You can just see the little brown boat, which is headed in the opposite direction. And then we've got another one. This side. Oh. Oh. Another one this side. It's coming into view. And where that pylon is, the other side of the river and those trees, is the Ukraine. along the river and then you find the camouflage just under there minding his own business after a few days here it was time to move on and we headed a little bit further along the river to the delta and the campsite of camping down fisherman good morning <laughs> <laughs> it's 5.30 a.m. It's a bright and early start after a pretty... No, it's still dark out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bright and early. You're a bit like... Meh. Considering that you're the morning person. Well, I had to listen to all that wonderful music till yeah. nearly three o'clock. So for the second night running on this <laughs> campsite, it's a beautiful campsite, really lovely. Um, but there's somewhere kind of opposite that seems to really like the... Quirky, shall we say? Quirky music. Oh, it's, um, it sounds like a show or something. Exceptionally like loud. And the, the first night it finished just after one, but then last night it was just after three. Um, you know, bearing in mind it, it's only five thirty now. Uh, yeah, I think we shall be getting some more sleep this afternoon. I think we'll have a siesta. I think we should move. I definitely think we should move. We were going to stay an extra mm -hmm. night, but no. I, I can't do that for a third night and pay for the privilege. Um, so <laughs> that, that's not happening. Um, so we are off out now on a boat trip um, around the Danube Delta. Mm. That should be really exciting. We promise to see lots of uh, lots of very interesting wildlife. We need to leave at six, and it's a four-hour trip. And uh, yeah, really excited. Apart from the early start, really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Some more than others, it would seem. <laughs>
The chap that took us on the boat ride this morning, what a boat ride. We got up before sunrise and we were on the river for sunrise and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, so now we are headed south. We will probably see a bit more of the delta en route. So I'll um, obviously film what I can. Um, we're now headed towards the coast. Okay, um, we're not going to hit the coast today, we're going to make part way, we um, don't want Martin to drive too far, bearing in mind he's got about three hours sleep. It's just so, so flat. Little wheels in the distance, but not much. It's a bit windy here, but um, this is our stop for tonight. Uh, basically, just by the side of a lake, almost in the middle of nowhere. And um, this this view is lovely. I think that'll do for a Friday night view. Very pretty. He forgot to shut the man up in time. All this flipping lot is Moz's absolute bloody infestation. Well, it was closed up. Just oh. the, the nets don't work. Like Not when there's so many. They're just, just absolutely everywhere. I mean, I've already killed. God, it must be a hundred. So yeah, guess what we're doing for the next couple of hours before bed. Yay! I'm hoovering. Huh. I'm gonna hoover them up. Currently sat here in this gorgeous backdrop trying to work out whether we should move on or stay another day. Last night was so peaceful and after the disruption of the last couple of nights it was just, hmm, do we stay or do we go? And neither of us are looking at making decisions so I think probably we're gonna stay. Oh, the dog's just fell off the chair. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, probably not going to be up too much today. No, it's just nice and quiet. It's wonderful and peaceful and watching the, I mean, we've seen, what have we seen fly by? Storks, eagles. Uh, cranes. Cranes, what are the black ones? Cormorants. Cormorants, yeah, they're all you just... 
flying by and there's also a couple of swans bobbing around and it's just so peaceful and so wonderful and actually I've just decided we're gonna stay. I think you'd already decided that. Not really. I was waiting for you to make a decision, but... But you've made it instead. I've made it. Yeah. We're going to stay. So. We had an absolutely amazing time at the Danube Delta, but now it's time to move on down and explore the Romanian coastline. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free. Um, and ding that bell for future notifications. And as always, we'd love to hear any comments or suggestions you have to make. Uh, take care. Until next time.